conversation around certain communities um, is usually centered around what we lack. We're called vulnerable, at risk, you know, in crisis. But when I look around my community and the communities close to me, I don't see vulnerable people. I see strong, resilient communities who continue to thrive despite adversity. But when we lead with communities, when we lead with what communities lack, instead of leading with our strengths, we become, it becomes so much harder to achieve real change. Studies such as the incredible years have demonstrated positive impacts of leading with strength, um, with strength instead of deficits in order to achieve real change, especially during the COVID-19 outbreak. If we want to lead as one Boston, we need to address communities in ways that uplifts what makes us stronger. And I'm urging us to really reconsider um, having a deficit lens as, as it relates to when, we, when we're talking about communities because I believe that there's always strength in our struggle and we're not as hopeless and as helpless as people have been led to believe. And I think that we have an opportunity to uplift the strength um, that communities who have normally have been seen as marginalized, um, an opportunity to, to shift the narrative and lead with strength. 